Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you can see me good because right now I'm in my living room. It is nighttime. I did my makeup out here because I was taking care of my little piggies, but I decided to just kind of film here because truthfully I'm kind of lazy to go back in and bring the light and all of that stuff. Today we're going to talk about how I basically saved like hundreds of dollars bargain shopping for makeup. Now, everything that I tell you, have a hair on me. Everything that I tell you, it's not that it's going to be in store now or they have it in stock now. It has been kind of just luck and a lot of like sifting through things. But there's just so many, I don't know if they're like outlet type stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross and stuff. I really don't like Ross, but TJ Maxx and Marshalls are pretty good when it comes to makeup. We have them here in the States. I'm pretty sure there's probably stores like that everywhere else. And I also got a lot of things pretty cheap on some sales that Ulta has been having. You kind of have to be on top of these things because I didn't know that Ulta was having like an extra 75% off their clearance and then it turned into an extra 90% off their clearance. So you know, I was on that. So that's how I got a lot of my things also. It's not just from kind of running into Marshalls and like sifting through things and seeing if I get lucky. Let's jump into everything that I have. I. This is, this is everything I have. I hope the lighting's good. I'm kind of blinded by the ring light, so I can't really see in the viewfinder if it's too dark or not. So hopefully it's not. I'll put it down below in the description box, the original price versus the price that I got it. And we'll, you'll be able to see at the end kind of how much I saved because I have not calculated that yet, but I know it's a lot of money. These are the Maybelline Temptation Brow Definers. I had never used them before I got them on sale. And I got them for $2. I got a fourth one and this is my brand new go-to brow product. I have it on my brows today and I think it is so nice. It's so creamy. It's really pigmented. The original price is $7.99 and I got them for two bucks. I got this at Ulta for 75% off. I love when I get something like at a really good price and I end up loving it. You know what I mean? I didn't have to waste 20 something dollars on like a brow pencil when this one, I got it for $2 and it is so good. The next thing I got is this e.l.f. Stardust Milky Way Glitter. I don't know, I saw it, I thought it was pretty and it was for cheap so, you know. The original price is $4, I got it for $1. $1, a really pretty white glitter. This looks so nice, hold on. Hold on. Hold. Look at how pretty that is. I feel like you would need glitter adhesive for this and I have some from NYX. So if you are into like glitters and stuff like that, you wanna use a little bit of glitter glue mama because if not, it's gonna be a big mess. Since we're on the e.l.f. train, I got this e.l.f. primer for $1.49. The original price was six bucks. This is the e.l.f. blemish control face primer. I haven't used this. This supposedly has some salicylic, so is that how you say it? Salicylic? acid in it so that should be good for like keeping like acne at bay and controlling them it's like a white cream it doesn't smell bad i don't mind the smell it looks really like nice and really hydrating i found these guys i bought three of these bottles these are the abh liquid glow it's so good these are highlighters i got them in oyster i bought three of these and the original price is 25 dollars. and i got these for like 7.99 i think do the math that's how amazing this just such a good deal. I had bought them for original price and I literally immediately returned it and I just, I got these because, you know, because. Then I got these guys right here. These are Too Faced lipsticks. I don't own any Too Faced lipsticks and I was so excited to see this at that random Marshalls. I got this in the color Doll Face and in the color Sure Thing. Lately I've been like really into nude lipstick, nudie nudes that kind of wash me out. I like mixing them with like a really nice lip liner, like a really toasty nude lip liner or like a brown lip liner like today. This lip color, I put a brown lip liner everywhere and then I put it and I'm just like, and I mixed it and look how pretty. Nothing here, literally nothing here is expensive. Everything is expensive, but I didn't buy it for expensive. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Oh, I also got these ABH blush trios. I think it was $9.99 or $12.99. I have to check the receipt about this one. But on me, I think this is 
pretty good. I haven't used it yet. I'm like super excited to use it because I've been wanting these. So I was really happy that I saw this so cheap. I think it was like $9.99. I'm not sure. These originally are like $25, somewhere around there. Like that is such a good bargain, guys. Like there's so much stuff here that I got for so cheap. It's ridiculous. I probably in total wasted with all these things 200 bucks or something. And I feel like if I would have bought all these things at original price, I would have probably wasted over $500. These. I have been dying to try Japanese brushes, guys. Like, I have heard so many good things about these specific styles. The highlighting brush, which is originally $19. And I got it for $3.56. Yes. This guy right here, this is like a contour highlight brush. I've also tried this brush with bronzer, and it gives like a really nice diffused color. I can't believe I got these guys for $3.56. And 56 cents. This is the product that I use with the contour and highlight brush. I have been really, really, really wanting the Hourglass Ambient Light Powder Palette, I think it's called, and it's like $65, which is pricey. So I found this, which is the next best thing. This is Bare Minerals Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. They have a matte side and then they have a glow side. This is originally $32 and I got it for $8. Fantastic. I found some setting sprays that I've never tried before in Ulta 75% off clearance section. This is the CoverGirl Look Lock Up All Day Mist that I got for $3. It's originally $11.99. And this is the Ulta Beauty Illuminating Setting Spray. It's originally $10 and I got it for $2.50. Next, I got these lipsticks from the brand that I've never tried before called Lottie London. These are their Slay All Day Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I haven't tried these guys yet, but I got a little extra one to throw in a little giveaway that I've been collecting things for for you guys. I'm going to just toss that there and put it away. I got the shades Work It and So Good. The original prices are $6.49 and I got it for, I got them for $1.62. All right, so this one looks a little bit like a rosy type of color. It looks really, really pretty. And then we have Work It, which is kind of like a mauve nude. It's right there. There's a funny story behind this guy. First of all, this baby, I had originally bought two of, okay. Let me fill you in on the story so you can kind of get where <clears throat> all of this started. So one day, me and my sister Michelle walked into Sephora and this Smashbox Velada collaboration was brand, brand spanking new. I saw these little guys like this, these glittery, gorgeous gems. Like it literally looks like liquid metal. It's so beautiful. And I tried some of it and then we put it on our cheekbones and it was like glittery and glowing and it looked beautiful. When I looked at the price, they were $32. Do you see how small this is? It may not look that small on the camera. That is tiny. My hands are not big. That is tiny. It's so small for $32. I was like, these people are out of their mind. Maybe $20. And that's already expensive for this little thing of glitter. I didn't get it. And I was like sad about it. I kept thinking about it. I was like, damn, I really want them. I really want them. Whatever. The universe. The universe. Okay. I was about to say something inspiring and I just shit all over it. The universe conspires in your favor, I guess, you know, when you want something. So what happened here was I saw them on sale at, Ult at Sephora for $16 each because they obviously were not selling because the price is outrageous. So I bought them both. Ulta has these guys in their 75% off clearance section. I returned these things at Sephora so fast so I could get my $32 back and I ended up getting this for $8. Fantastic. Half of what I originally had even paid for it and that was already on sale at Sephora. So I ended up getting this baby for $8 and it is so beautiful. Let me open it again so you can see. I hope this light captures like the glitters in it. It is so pretty. It looks like a shimmer, but it's it's just glittery and just gorgeous. I also got this Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, which retails for $36, and I got it for $9. I haven't tried it out yet. I got it in the shade 1.2. Hopefully, that's a pretty decent match. If not, I'll just mix it with something else, but I'm so excited to try it. It says it's medium to full buildable coverage, oil-free, controls oils, sweat, humidity, exercise resistance, Demi matte finish transfer resistant like come on it just hopefully it's true to all its claims and I also got the Smashbox camera ready BB cream which is $42 more expensive than the foundation it says it's a five-in-one miracle worker proven to prime perfect protect hydrate and control oil 
all of that good stuff, and I got it for $10.50. These, I also got them at Ulta at their 75% off clearance sale. Now, I got another bag of stuff. Mostly these things are like not from Ulta, I think. Yeah, they're not from Ulta. They're just other like finds that I've got that I kind of just want to share with you guys. Remember, this is just like a little chatty, a little chatty video. I got this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in that peach though. <laughs> That yeah, peach dough. So cute. And it's so pretty and it looks so nice on. I've already worn it. Can't open it. It's such a pretty toasty coral, very light colored shade. It's really good if you're not like really into blushes. Marshalls, mainly all the things from Marshalls, I've gotten them for like $7.99 or $9.99. So this one was one of those two. I believe it was $7.99 if I'm not mistaken. And then I got this Smashbox palette here. This is another blush palette. And this one, I got it for $12.99. And it brings these three gorgeous blushes that wear so so well i also got this which i was so surprised to see at marshall's this is the becca liquid crystal lip topper gloves this is i don't know the name of this color what is it pearl x gold and it is probably another shade that you can't i'm like totally out of the shot now at this point like why am i even part of the video you can't really see it but it's another one of those things that it's like so fine the crystals in it it looks clear it doesn't look white when you put it on and it has just like silver pearls in it it's so so pretty it's really thick though but it's really pretty these are some lashes that i got at marshall's actually i got them at tdj max i'm lying to you here you see it says hello there 7.99 these are lily lashes for sephora collection lily lashes are expensive i've been dying to try them out she has these lashes that are like Miami, so extra Miami. This, that, like such beautiful, beautiful lashes. And they're like $30. And I got this for $7.99. These two foundations, I got them at Marshalls. I think I got it at the Marshalls and Sawgrass, which is like a little bit of a drive from me. But I got these two shades because I feel like this one was too light and this one was too toasty. And I really wanted to try it. This is the Becca, Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. And I got these, I think they were like 11 bucks each, but originally each of these foundations are $45. And I got these for like 11 each. This is just getting ridiculous at this point. Like that is so crazy. For two of them, I got it half of what one costs. So, yeah. I couldn't shade match, but whatever. I just got them both. I was like, scoop, you coming with me. And I got this Bare Minerals. This is also from their Gen Nude collection this is xyz and it's a matte color i have their um the fan is on i really hope that doesn't bother you the entire video like the fan in the background i hope not it's this color it's like a really nice like mauvey dusty rose color i have their color ohm in this same collection and it's a really nice like yellowy brown nudie color and it's so pretty and it's really comfortable it's more like a moussey velvety texture but i got this for 7.99 also it's so good this lipstick i love it this is the mac alia collection this is like up my alley look at that Oof. it's like a oh my god it's like a gray almondy nude it's beautiful my go-to colors are anything with gray nude undertones Whoo! that is my shit i love colors like this like this is like probably my ideal lipstick color i guess the collection is not selling well they have everything 40 percent off the entire collection i'm probably gonna go back for another one of these maybe i'll throw one in for a giveaway for you guys it's really pretty so i got it for 11 dollars. so good and also they have them on ulta for 11 bucks too if you're trying to get your hands on them these i didn't get them at ulta i didn't get them at marshall's but it's a funny story behind these like not like funny like haha -ha, but it's it's a funny like cute story i also got like a glitter top coat which is probably somewhere in my room i thought i put it in here but i guess i did not i'll still put it down below for you guys so you can see what it is these are stila's glitter and glow highlighters i was walking in new york one day and if y'all know me i am like a wandering curious type of person so i will just leave my hotel room and just walk and walk and walk and walk and just walk into random restaurants or walk into random stores and just find random things i like that that stuff makes me happy i feel like it's spontaneous it's fun it's adventurous 
whatever. So I was walking down this street and I saw some girl with a Stila bag. To my knowledge, there is no Stila in New York. I told my sister, I was like, she has a Stila bag, that's so weird. So I kept walking a little bit and when I looked to my right, it was like this pop-up shop of Stila, of Dr. Jart, of so many other things. It was like a warehouse sale, pop-up shop type thing. And I was looking and seeing that they do them every now and then. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I love that I just discovered it and kind of just stumbled upon it. So these two highlighters are what I got. I think I got them for like 10 to $12 each. They're originally double that price. This is the color Painted Lady, which is beautiful. I'm gonna put it on now on my arm. Hopefully the light captures it because this ring light is, I don't know, it's acting up. And Admiral, 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 I don't know. It's it's so pretty. Like this looks gold from here and this looks blue. But then I see the purple in this one and I see the pinks in this one. It's just, you see how you can kind of change these colors? Look, you see how it like shifts? It's so crazy. So that is all the stuff I have. Like I said, I'll put in the description box below what their original price was versus how much I got them for. If you're interested, comment down below if you guys wanna see a favorites video. Lately, there's a couple of things that I'm like, oh, I really like this, Oh, I really like that, I really like this. So let me know if you guys would like for me to film a favorites video because I definitely have a lot of favorite things that I wanna share with you, not just makeup, things in general, hair stuff, other things, music, all of that stuff. Or if you want me to kind of limit the favorites video to just makeup and hair, or you want it to be like everything, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know that you guys like these type of chatty videos. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. If you are not subscribed already, hit the little notification bell so you can be notified. I love you, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.